Howdy, this is uh, Pastor Sam, and I uh, hope all of y'all are doing well. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, how to install Zoom on your laptop so that y'all can log into your Sunday school classes um, or whatever other Zoom meeting you may be invited to. So uh, let's get started. What you're looking at right now is the desktop on my MacBook. So make sure you're at your desktop as well. And uh, you can tell my background picture is a picture of Memphis Theological Seminary. Um, absolutely beautiful place. Um, then you need to go on to your internet browser. Uh, I'm going to use Google Chrome because that's my browser that I use. Uh, if you use Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Firefox, or Safari, what, however you get on the internet is where you need to go to now. So we're at my home page. And as you can see here, um, right there in the address bar, I'm going to type in zoom.us and click enter. Okay. That will take you to this screen right here. And it will say um, join a meeting. You'll see this little tab up here. That's the one you'll want to click in on. And now you should have gotten a nine or ten digit number from your Sunday school teachers or from the Maples Constant Contact email. And uh, for this, for the purposes of this, I'm going to use my personal meeting ID for my Sunday school class, um, which is this one right here. So once you have this code, you should be good to go. Okay. And then you will click join. Now, you will be directed to this screen right here. And now notice what it says. It says here, please click openzoom.us if you see the system dialog. This box right here is the system dialog, all right? If you do not see this box, then you just click it down here to launch the meeting, okay? Um, or this one here to download Zoom, but your box should appear. But like I said, if it doesn't, just click on that right there. So I'm going to click on openzoom.us. And now it's going to give me an option. Notice how it says, see the code uh, was my room. This is a recurring meeting, Sam Jones's personal meeting room. Now, you are not the host, so don't sign in here. It just says you're waiting. You can see this little uh, thing here spinning. It just means it's waiting. And what is it waiting on? It's waiting for the host to start the meeting. Um, so really, at this point, you don't do anything until the host invites you uh, to start that meeting. So you may be waiting a few minutes. Uh, if Sunday school starts at 930, then this will probably go live at 930. Um, so here's, what would, um, here's what's going to happen. Um, so I am going to be using this right here. Okay. All right. And like I said, nothing is happening until the meeting starts. And look, there it is. You'll see the host invite you in just like that. And you'll see a screen down here that says join without video. If you do not want to be seen, uh, you can still be a part of this meeting. And the only thing that the host is going to see is your name. But if you do want to be seen, you will click on join with video. All right. So that's kind of neat. Your camera should be working. So I'm going to click on join with video. And once again, we're waiting for... Um, the host to let me in. So uh, I'm waiting for Sam to now finally let me into the meeting. And what do you, what do you, what do you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You hear that feedback? I am going to. So uh, let me just disconnect the audio for a second. All right. And this is what it will look like. You can see that um, the host is now in that meeting, and I am in this one. So that's pretty neat. So let me kind of walk you through. I'm going to actually stop the video on here. Um, let me make sure I can do this here real quick. Uh, so I'm going to stop that video. Um, so you'll see... You'll see this. I'm going to expand my screen a little bit. You do that in the upper left-hand corner. And then uh, let me just show you some of the features here of, of what this looks like. 
Uh, so here, when you, you noticed that earlier when I logged in, I had two audios going. Now what that happens is that provides a lot of feedback and it, it can be really, really painful. Uh, notice I'm wearing headphones. You do not have to wear headphones when you do Zoom. It's just something I choose to do. It's personal preference. It helps me hear a little bit better. And there's a built-in microphone on here. But if you'll look back on the screen here, in the bottom left-hand corner uh, is a button that says Unmute. So right now, if you don't want to say anything, you'll be muted. But before you participate, you do need to click on that button. As you can see, now I am unmuted. So everything that I say, the host can hear as well. But as soon as I'm, I stop talking, it would be best for you to go ahead and immediately mute yourselves. Especially if you have a large group, that's going to be very, very important that you do that. If you don't want to be seen, you see this button down here. It says stop video, watch what happens. All of a sudden, you don't see anything except my name. And that is what the host is going to see. Okay. Start my video back up. Okay. You can look to see who is participating in right now. There is me, the host, and me, the participant. Uh, normally, this would say me, the host, and you, the participant. But I'm just using somebody else's. Uh, I'm just using myself as an example. Um, you will notice down at the bottom there is a chat feature. If you click on that, you can send private messages to everyone. Uh, oops, can't spell today. And hit enter, and everybody gets that chat. So there you have it. <clears throat> um, once you are ready to leave the meeting, when the meeting is over, the host will usually end the meeting first. But if you want to get out earlier, you can just click down there in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. And voila, it says, do you want to leave the meeting? And you have left the meeting. And you're back to the screen right where you were. So that is basically how this all works. Um, so if you have any questions at all, please just shoot me an email. Um, and I will show you my email address, and I'm going to type it up here in the address bar, sam at mapleschurch.org, um, and that is if you have any questions about this. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration, and hopefully we can see your bright and smiling faces on Sunday. Have a great day.